right now you are watching the buzz remember the buzz this is not bamboo bill this is the real buzz laughter is the best medicine i'm your local pharmacist kiss daniels i love you yes yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's> <laughs> My name is Sheila Obisi, I'm the Black Commandant of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Do you know what? When I see the flight buzz in my ears, I probably don't like that. But when I tune to TV and I see Boss TV, I know this is the best program on TV. And that's why I stay glued to Boss TV. Don't touch that. that. Listen, get the boss. The best feeling. Hey guys, welcome to this week's edition of the Buzz TV show. With me is the very stunning Gail Thompson over here. Hi guys, thank you very much, Dami. Yes. Um, we're looking beautiful. I know. I think we are. It's like the UK weather. It's like the sun came out for like one week I straight. Know. We're so excited. So one whole week out. of sunshine. Can <laughs> you know. imagine that? Yeah. And because of one whole week of sunshine, we lost ND. I know. Well, we temporarily misplaced him, but the police has promised us that we'll get him back soon. So, you know, don't panic or anything. Absolutely. So, ND, wherever you are, we're coming to get you in 48 hours, honey. In a bit. Yeah, in a bit. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you can see, mm -hmm. girls are taking over. Absolutely. We don't know where Andy's gone to and we don't care. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> it's all I know, good, you've man. Been on it's your, it's a sabbatical, bad. but you're back now. Yeah. I'm back now. You guys miss me? Yeah, I'm sure they did. Yeah, all this, all this sexiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't say it as if you don't mean it. I know you're feeling this, bro. <laughs> As you can see, Andy's not here. Girls are taking over again, Love so stay tuned. Over. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, Andy will be back. Those Andy lovers at home, we do understand. We also miss him too. Absolutely, sometimes. Well, listen, guys, we cannot, of course, start the show without saying a big, massive thank you to all our fans out there who are constantly, constantly loving us and supporting us and telling us how amazing they think we are doing. We love every one of you. <laughs> they're coming to London. Hey, as in, I'm super excited because these stars, they can actually fly over to Definitely. my land. Yes, thank you very much. Yay. Man, I think it's an awesome move by Nollywood because this one should have been done from the onset. Mm. Definitely. I agree with you, you know, because now they can actually bridge that gap between UK Nollywood and Nollywood Nollywood. And, you know, I don't know, it would just be amazing. So Nollywood, Nolly Awards, hats off. We really love this move. I really think that that's amazing. Mm -hmm. The fact that they're going to have like a board that would check, check you know, yeah. which songs are coming in, yeah. which songs. So it's not just any Tom any Dinka, Harry, no. or any any Vigo. I want to be a musician. <laughs> Do you think they'll let me? Huh? I've been practicing. Wait first. Let's 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 solidify the active. <laughs> I love Shirley Frimpong Manto. I think she's stunning. She's fantastic. She's unbelievably talented. She yep. keeps pushing the boundaries. Absolutely. Like with Rebecca, time. like Every a two-man script. Like, you, you interviewed on I Rebecca, know, didn't I you? Did. I was just like, yeah. oh my God, I love you. <laughs> but I just, you know, hats off to her, really. You know some Ghanaian movies, like when you, well, the ones way, 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 mm -hmm. way back, the one that when you can see the, the proper Ghanaian, then they'll say, oh, what's your name? I say, my name is Danica. <laughs> or my name is Charles. <laughs> or my, and they just give themselves unbelievably unrealistic, like, English names. It's like to Ghanaian names. It. Ghanaian names are so mm. beautiful. Which one do you know? Sorry? Name one. Kofi. <laughs> Another story that was equally rocking the social media, what man. now again? That fine Yoruba actress, Which the beautiful one? one that's always well dressed, Messi. Oh, Messi Aigwe, yeah. Yeah, that's one. She was almost arrested. What? That close. Really? What man, happened? Seriously, man, listen to this, man. She was coming back from a production. Uh huh. Where the next thing, fashion police, I mean, sorry, Nigerian police, eh? pull her over. What? I mean, seriously, they were interrogating her. They, she brought her a phone, was recording the whole incident. Wait. They snatched the phone from her. The whole market people came uh -huh. out. Seriously, okay, I was wait. like, oh wait, my God. Wait. What wait, kind of wait, trouble wait, is this? Wait, 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 wait. Let's backtrack. This Man, way. I'm not feeling that. Wait you now. Interrogate the poor okay. woman. What for? She was on the way from her production. Yes, that's all she did. Then police arrested her. Uh huh. And then everybody gathered. Everybody down. came out. We're trying to. Yeah, find man, they don't story carry you, Jerry. That's publicity stunts. Think about it. Did she not hey, mention the hey, um, production man, production man, company and be production? Hey. Traffic, please. It's no, you were there that night. Did you have any such feeling that he was talking about, he was taking, you know, shots at black people? I didn't get that at all. I, you know, I understood clearly exactly what he was, was trying saying, to say. Absolutely. Man, I understood and, absolutely. you know, people, man, just take the positive and move on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, but some people, you know, they always have something to say. Hey, Jineke! <laughs> 400 million wait first <clears throat> i mean um if you convert that to pounds that's 1.3 million pounds it is <gasps> no why do you think i said you make it oh my goodness there is no money i know why people that do maths liars 
know I love Kanayo Kanayo do like you? I, yes I grew up <laughs> watching him on Nollywood like yeah go Kanayo <laughs> no I mean like as in even the initials K-O-K-M-A yeah I know <laughs> Kanayo or oh, Kanayo, Kanayo Mentoring, Mentoring Academy like it's like, so prestigious so you know, mm-hmm. AKA is just, he's just crazy. And on top of it all, all this, you know, speculations now lead me into this thing that's going on with, you know, his ex, oh, yeah. uh, Kaspar Nyovest, oh, you know, yeah. DJ Zinle, he's... There's just, I think AKA is in like a love hexagon <laughs> or something. It's not, <laughs> not, triangle, not triangle, again. triangle anymore. It's a like hexagon you because... Know? Casper Yovers is his rival, yep. and then he has like two baby mamas. Yep. But he's seen Bonang Mateba, yep. so Casper is not going, going to his after first baby DJ, mama, yeah, DJ Zinle. Yeah. And then, yeah. you're, you're right, it's, it's a very complicated man. Love hexagon. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness, so uh, John DeMello. <laughs> I said it, you I did. predicted it. Honey, in fact, chop knuckle, you did. Mm. You did. It's gonna happen. Friendship right? is usually the best kind of relationship, you know? When you like friends and then you start kissing. But it's all good, <laughs> but I think this two will make a great couple. You're speaking out of experience, I take it. The best thing about being sisters in a group is the fact that we're family. Um, you know, we can tell each other anything. You know, we have the odd arguments here and there, you know, but we always bring it back together and we come back together. And, you know, we may have disagreements, but we always come together because we know that it'll be for the benefit of the group. And we just love, love each other, really. So they annoy me, but I love them. <laughs> I don't want to rush, easy they do me. But even though it's music, people don't view it as a business. and I don't understand that. I think artists need to sort of sit up and realize this is a job. You know, we need to commercialize it. I'm, I've now realized that, you know, being cool doesn't make you money. It's exciting to be a creative and sort of follow your heart. But, you know, you really, really need to figure out a way of having some sort of long term or longevity to your career. And, you know, I think you have to put a lot of effort. It has to make sense. You have to calculate. Um, I don't want to offend anybody, but I'm the biggest. I don't know if I'm the king, you know, per se, because at the end of the day, the industry is owned by the industry. But in terms of stats, I am the biggest hip-hop artist or the biggest uh, South African artist doing it at this point. That is absolutely amazing. Janglova, okay, so it's a quite a popular popular word from Africa. Yeah, if you yeah. could elaborate for our fans that are not African. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the, the, the word janglova actually means swing. Yeah. Uh, um, so, but in the, in, 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 the con- in the context, we're talking about um, someone playing you. Because yeah. obviously a swing is a, a play yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So it's like the girl is playing with my heart and she's messing about with me. Because, you know, all the times we, we always have songs where it's like, oh, the guy cheated on me, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so for a change, girls do cheat, girls do creep around, they do oh, mess about. Yeah. So I'm bringing that perspective, okay. you know. Are you, are you, are you stupid? Okay, tell me this. Yeah. Do you think that you being fine yellow boys have anything to do with the roles that you get? Well, I, I get these questions all the time. Do you? Yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't think... I don't think complexion has anything to do with one's talent. Mm-hmm. Well, it might be an added advantage. Mm-hmm. I don't know, okay. but the and way I'm people th- talk about it. But I mean, it just to me, I just feel when you have talent, you're just gonna come out. And if you have the grace of God as absolutely. well, absolutely. Yeah, so that's you know, it. on the more serious note, you're absolutely right. That is correct. If you do have the talent, it yeah. will come out. That's yeah. a fact. However, having said that, though, being a fine boy, hard throb does not hurt. You know. No. No, exactly. <laughs> I not. love it. No. Now I see you She's everything I want And I need it more I'm breaking all the rules I want to make a my boo And that's the truth What's the high and the low of being Very city code? Um Think yeah. there's zero, right? Yes, actually zero Because I do not believe in uh, I don't believe in negativity I don't okay. believe in um, Being a failure Nigeria, you, the way you sell your oil yeah. is different from the way everyone sells theirs. The way you read your book is different from... So, 
Nigeria just carves out to you something different. So. What's your favorite book, though? I have to ask because, like, if you read a lot, what's your favorite book <laughs> that you would not maybe tell in Nigeria, like, go out and read this book? They've, they've read them all already. Are they've you read serious? It. It's Fifty Shades. <laughs> 